Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something that I've never done before, but I thought it'd be really fun. And I wanted to show you my outfit every single day of February for a few reasons. One, to challenge myself to wear um, not just black skirts, even though I do wear a lot and just be creative with my outfits, but to show people who are genuinely curious what I wear every day. So enjoy. Happy first day. Today I am wearing a black Mimu Maxi with a red cardigan that I got from some random store in New Hampshire and a necklace that my mom got me. Today is my first day of an internship at a preschool, so I was kind of channeling teacher vibes. This shirt I got over winter break. It is from the Mana store in Tina called Carly's Grays. I don't know the brand. And the skirt is from the Main Street Exchange, which is a Christian Mana store in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. They also have a website. I actually don't think I've ever worn this skirt and I've had it for a year and a half. So I am very proud of myself for coming up with this outfit and really I'm trying to use this video as a chance to be more creative with my outfits. Today is what people are calling snowmageddon. So far, it's really just raining. I don't see any snow. Full disclosure, I stole this sweater from my sister. I think it's from Abercrombie. And this is my favorite black skirt ever. It is from Amazon. I wear it all the time. I love it. I also wanted a comfy outfit because this morning I decided to go. Also this morning, last minute, I decided to go pick up my friend Sarah. Hi. What else are you going to do on a snow day except for take a road trip? Woo! Woo! To get the cut and we planned this for like weeks of surprise to hang out with Sarah for her birthday. So now we're going because her breast was canceled. And apparently it's supposed weather. to be snowmageddon, but it's like drizzling now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna beat the storm. We're not doing a, oh, we got off of school because it's dangerous to drive, but then we're driving. No, no it's safe to drive now. Yeah, because we're gonna go surprise Danielle for her birthday. <laughs> Thank God the party was amazing. It was a lot of fun and today is a new day and it's a Friday, which is always crazy around here, getting ready for Shabbat and going to class. So today I'm wearing yet another shirt that I took from my sister. And again, my favorite black flowy skirt. It just, it's so easy. It's like black skirts are the from girl black leggings. This dress is really a staple. I call it the sisterhood of the traveling dress because it looks good on literally everyone. I got it as a hand-me-down from a friend, so I don't know exactly where she got it. I think she said Maya Sharm. She gave it to me in seminary because it got too short on her. But this dress is fantastic. It looks good on everyone. It's so flattering and it's so easy and it has pockets. This dress is from TJ Maxx and it's super light. And I'm actually wearing a shirt under both to make it warmer and also because the sleeves are sheer. And what I love about this dress is you can't even tell. Another day, another black skirt, except this one is from Kosher Casual, or the brand at least is Kosher Casual. And this shirt I actually got in Costco. Costco has really cute clothes, and I'm getting ready for work. I work at the ice skating rink on campus, so I definitely have to bundle up, and the next video is me riding the Zamboni, and it's very cool. Happy Monday. Today is another school day, and by school day, I mean my internship. I'm sorry if my face looks like weird. It's just that I filmed these at like 7 a.m., and it's just so early. I've not been this early since high school. Anyway, this dress is from Old Navy, and the jacket is from Old Navy. I love, love, love this combo. Such an easy go to outfit. So it got kind of chillier, and I just wanted to be comfy. So I put on this University of Edinburgh sweater over my dress and now it's kind of cute. It looks like a skirt. I really want to get a flowy gray skirt. So if anyone has ideas, let me know in the comments. I think I want a darker one, like a darker gray than this, but it's cute. I think it's also cool that like it's a dress, but no one knows it's a dress. And then hair in a bun because I need to wash my hair. I've just been too lazy and it doesn't look that good. I love my internship, but something annoying about it is that I need to wear flowy skirts because I work in a preschool, so I have to be running around, sitting on the floor, etc. So I can't wear pencil skirts. So that means I just end up wearing a lot of black skirts. This one, again, is that kosher casual one that I mentioned earlier. And this sweater is Vince Camuto, and I got it from TJ Maxx. This skirt is, of course, my classic Amazon black skirt. And this shirt, I think is from New York and Company. I got it in high school. And what's really cool is the sides zip up and down so you can wear it open or closed. So I'm wearing a tank top under so I can un totally unzip the bottom of the shirt. 
Okay, so today I'm wearing that shirt that I bought from Carly's Craze. It's so comfortable and it looks so good. This skirt is from the Main Street Exchange and it's very similar, if not the same skirt, that I wore with this shirt a few days ago, that gray one. And my shoes are the matte Sam Edelman rain boots. I am on the horseback riding club at my university. And for those wondering, yes, I do ride in a skirt. I will show you that in a second, my whole outfit. I did not in high school. And then as I became observant and took on wearing skirts only, I decided to ride in a skirt. The team and the trainer were definitely confused at the beginning, but now no one blinks an eye. I am wearing just a plain blue long sleeve shirt under my gray Patagonia that I got a few years ago. And then this skirt is just black skirt from Amazon and then really thick leggings. It's Friday, so I need something comfortable that I can run around in and get ready for Shabbat. So I'm wearing this green shirt that you saw earlier in this video. And of course my classic black Amazon skirt. Working at the ice rink tonight, I want something warm and comfortable. So I'm wearing this sweater that I think is from Land's End. I don't know, my friend gave it to me. And then my skirt is from Kosher Casual. This is another Old Navy dress. Old Navy hack is you get it in tall so that it's actually long enough. The only thing with tall is that the sleeves are kind of long, so I got them shortened, and that way I can also wear this dress comfortably in the summer. Having class that ends when it's dark out kind of sucks, but it is fun to walk through campus and see all the really pretty lights. I'm trying really hard to be creative with my outfits, both for this video and also because I want to wear cute clothes to my internship, and also I can't wear things that are straight I need to wear flowy skirts because I'm bending down and dealing with kids so I came up with this outfit this shirt is from TJ Maxx it's Vince Camuto and the skirt I got from Israel from Shaul the skirt guy if anyone knows what I'm talking about okay today's outfit this shirt I got a million years ago from Forever 21 somehow it's still held up and it's like in good quality I really love this shirt and then this is the kosher casual black skirt. I actually really like wearing this shirt with a pencil skirt, but because I have my internship in a preschool, it's not really appropriate to wear a pencil skirt because it would just get really short. So I end up wearing flowy skirts, which is fine. I just want to have more variety, but whatever. And then I did wear it with blunt stones today. I'm just like around the house and those are running around. So I'm just wearing the sole dippers. This skirt is from the Main Street Exchange. That's the brand. I bought it at the Mana store in Tina called Carly's Craze, but the brand is Main Street Exchange. And this shirt is new. It's from Uniqlo. And I love Uniqlo for their winter clothing, for their Mana's clothing. Love it. This weekend, I am on a Jewish college leadership retreat in Long Beach, New York. So that's where I'm filming this from. My skirt is from Forever 21 a million years ago. My shirt is from Uniqlo and my jean jacket I took from my sister. This dress I got on sale at Blue Mandales. It's really just beautiful. I love this dress. I talked about it in my winter Shabbat outfits video. And basically what I said is that I've worn this dress to a wedding and you can dress it up with heels, but also dress it down with these booties and just be a little bit fancier on Shabbat. It is after Shabbat and I want to show you what I wore Shabbat day. This shirt is from Uniqlo. It's like this really nice cream color. And this skirt is also from Uniqlo, but I got it probably seven years ago at this point. It's like the first Shabbat tone I ever went on. Somehow it still fits and looks good. Today is the last day of a Jewish college leadership retreat. So my skirt is from Zoya, which is kind of like the modest Forever 21 in Israel. Love it. My Jack is the one that I was wearing the other day that I took from my sister and my sweater I got from TJ Maxx. As you can tell, I've been very into this black denim jacket because this is the third time I'm wearing it in like five days. Today is so nice out. I was so excited for this outfit. This is a blush pink dress from Mima Maxi. It's the frock dress, love Mima Maxi. And while they do tend to be on the more expensive side, their clothes hold up so well and they look so great that I'm just wearing footless tights and Adidas. It's a rainy day and I woke up a little bit later than usual. So I didn't have time to put together a really cute outfit. So I just went for something easy. This shirt I got last year from TJ Maxx and then classic black skirt. What are you doing? Are you comfortable? Aww. Simba, you've never done this before. <laughs> Say hi. Today I went for cute and classic Hannah outfits and also it's warm enough to wear sneakers. So very exciting. This black dress is from you Maxi. It's the frock and this jacket cardigan situation is from Old Navy. I got it like four years ago. Finally, a day that I do not need to wear a flowy skirt. 
This skirt is from the Main Street Exchange. This shirt I took from my mom. I think the brand is Wild Fox. And this vest I got actually a million years ago from J. Crew. It's the petite vest. I honestly have no idea if they even sell this anymore, but it's like a cute outfit. I wore it Flintstones and just really comfy. Later that night, there was a Hillel event where all the leadership was asked to wear Hillel shirts. So I'm wearing that, and then I didn't like the way it looked with the jean skirt, so I put on my classic black flowy skirt. Shabbat Shalom. I'm wearing the classic religious girl black sweater from Zara with the three buttons on the side. And then I think this is my favorite Shabbat skirt ever. I got it from Nordstrom Rack. It's really cute in the summer, but I also make it work in the winter. This is what I wore Shabbat day. This dress is from TJ Maxx. It's actually really thin. so. I wear a shirt under it for two reasons. One, because the sleeves are see-through, and two, it makes the dress warmer, and then I can wear it in the winter. Sundays call for casual outfits, especially because I'm working at the ice rink. Today's the last day, which is very sad. So I'm just wearing a Hillel quarter zip that I got, and of course, a black skirt. Last day of February, I'm trying to be really creative so I'm actually wearing a dress. I wore it in, earlier in the video, the gray dress. I put a sweater on top because I really do want a flowy gray skirt. I just don't have one yet. So I made it work. So the dress is from Old Navy and the shirt, which I also wore earlier in this video, is from Forever 21. 